this is one of the biggest master duel ban lists ever. If you still need a beautiful playmat or deck box, you can go to zerodamagegaming.com and use the code SOLEMN for a discount. So right here, shout out to Master Duel Meta for the news, of course. Always nice to go on the website. So we have cards to be unlimited. Redox, Dragon Ruler of Builders from 1 to 3, Tidal from 1 to 3, and Tempest from 2 to 3. So essentially, they're the, like, fuck it. These Dragon Rulers are super power crept out. They're probably not going to do anything. And I agree. I don't think they're that good. Like, if you just read them right now, it's like, yeah, 10 years ago, it might have been interesting to have these free bodies that then add extra effects and, you know, recursion from the graveyard and they stuck around and so forth. But these days, having a big body, maybe it recurs, like, kind of whatever. Now, Tidal might be interesting as a special foolish burial for water decks, but even then, eh, kind of doesn't matter. Now, if Tierlement still had Agito or Kelbeck, that would be a different story. They would have enough waters to discard and, you know, burialing a mill five is crazy but those are banned so really i don't think this is gonna do anything and then speedroid terror top from one to three so this is a crazy good starter this together with taketomborg you know is some free bodies some free value but then again like which decks are really gonna use this is speedroids the metal threat we're afraid of i don't think so is phantom knights the metal threat we're afraid of i don't think so either like tour guide is already one card combo and it's not like they're foaming at the mouth over that either i mean they'll run it but i don't know this this just seems like fine yeah it doesn't use your normal maybe it's better going second you know i'm sure they'll try and run it but i don't think this will break the game or anything like that then we have predal plant orphis scorpio yeah this is cute together with darlington cobra you know oh you have three good starters for one brick but again this is one of those cards that was like crazy back in the day in those plant tech brilliant fusion and all of that crap but these days just kind of power crept out, you know, let, let people have some fun. Then Sword Soul Long One, Sword Soul Bozos eating good tonight. <laughs> uh, this is good, you know, Sword Soul is not a meta threat, so let them have their toys. Cards to be semi-limited. We have Pearly Pretty Memory from 3 to 2. I don't see why they had to do this. I don't see Pearly dominating anything anymore since the latest hits. So like, sure, I guess, if you want to nuke them further, be my guest. I really think that Master Duel is sometimes a bit too heavy-handed in their hits. I think like we saw the same with tier limits where they hit them and they hit them and they hit them for obvious reason it was tier zero and then they were like and now we'll also kill them <laughs> and this is kind of like where it feels they want to go with pearly as well they hit them they hit them they hit them and now they're like you know what we'll just go overboard i think this is a little overboard you could say oh this is to prepare for like the the little noir coming the little xyz but even then it feels like a lot now we have kashtira fenrir from two to one this is a heavy hit because this means a regular decks can no longer play two fenrir in their deck as like a tiny piece of non-engine now it's really only decks that can use this as part of their engine so i'm thinking about like scareclaw i'm thinking about actual kashtira i'm thinking about tier anything that has like a kashtira plus archetype type of card so fenrir is an actual searcher as well which you know might be fair otherwise every single deck will forever play two fenrir but it's also kind of sad because i do really like the card now next they were base they decided fox stun decks inspector border from three to one tika proof two to one ruining destruction also from two to one so basically every card that was part of like runic stun or anything like that just nuked nuked this i guess further weakening the runic engine then they were like we're not done yet pot of desires from two to one kaiser colosseum from three to one really any stun deck they're just trying to nuke it and then another hit that's really painful is kashtira birth from three to one so kashtira is not like the top tip of the top of meta or anything like that but i guess they noticed that in the dc cup people were playing like kashtira zoo to rank quickly because it's a quite a fast deck pretty easy easy to play as well but again it kind of feels like they already had a very inconsistent deck in kashtira and now they're like fuck it we'll make it even more inconsistent with the fenrir at one with the birth at one i mean you can have a rise hard but if you have no way to get there who cares it's the same with pearly you can have noir but if you get there inconsistently who cares the kit colos even you can have kit colos but you have no consistent way of you know getting payoff from it who cares i don't know i don't know how to feel about this one next we have pot of duality from two to one so again get fucked stun decks is what they're essentially saying and then delicious memory from two to one which is again like a heavy hit to pearly now i don't know how you play pearly pearly at two delicious memory at one sleepy at one pretty at two like this is a lot it's almost like they're saying oh vanquish soul is the latest pack or you know two packs ago or something you should buy that and stop playing your older decks that's kind of what this feels like then we have synchro zone from three to one again this is just another part of the stun deck and then 
then we have cards to be banned. Chaos Ruler from 3 to 0. This is very sad. This is my baby right here. Part of every pile deck I've ever built on Master Duel. And now he is dead. I understand why. Card's absolutely broken. But god, he's fun. He's so fun. He's part of all the funnest decks. But alas, we can't have fun. We can only buy the latest pack and build the latest deck. So goodbye, Chaos Ruler. To be fair, I do understand. Uh, various decks abuse the living shit out of this. Then we have Wyver Buster from 3 to 0. Again, a mainstay of all the pile decks I love to build. But of course, it was mostly abused in Dragon Links. Now, the issue though is that if you truly cared about fixing dragon links you would hit the dragon links <laughs> because like you can ban this stuff but if you look at the tcg dragon link is still a really strong deck because you still have rocket tracer and sphere and boreland and quick launch and all of this stuff working together like chaos spaces at once so you don't even get the wyver buster collapse serpent thing set up that often and dragon link is still you know a major deck of course it's strong but now you ban this but left all of the other shit intact i think dragon link will still be real especially because you've been hitting all the other decks like the only deck that isn't being nuked currently is like vanquish soul and everything else feels like just a super watered down version to the point where dragon link is probably still good oh also lab was barely hit right so lab is like the deck and then if you want to fuck with lab you play dragon link with all your bestials so really all you did is fuck the piles but dragon link will live on now we have card of demise from two to zero that's right get fucked stun decks again is what they're saying and then finally we also have super heavy samurai soulbreaker armor so for people who want to know why this got banned this is basically part of an ftk in super heavy samurai which means we're probably getting super heavy samurai cards very soon now one thing you need to know is that if those cards aren't nuked on release like the link one and, and stuff like that that is gonna be a ridiculously broken engine you should really expect for super heavy to instantly be the best deck and since everything else got nuked so damn hard there will not even be competition like the only hope you have is i guess shiftering them if you're on vanquish soul but like cringe you know but seriously like i don't see how you can stop super heavy samurai with all of the hits we've been seeing that deck is going to be crazy assuming of course they don't pre-hit it into oblivion that is still an option of course so that is all i mean i say that is all but this was a lot like i don't know if there was a ban list before that had more than this but whoa <laughs> usually the ban Ban lists in Master Duel are like tippy tap, tippy tap, we're done. But this time they're like, nope, here's 21 hits. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.